What is up you guys? It's Liza and welcome back to my channel. And yeah, this might be the new perspective for you guys in some of my videos. I am currently recording as one of the shelf in my desk as a tripod. But yeah, anyways, today is another episode of Upgrading Process Food. A series here in my channel that I've started where I take some processed or some common food and turn it into something else or use it in a dish that we can all enjoy <laughs> I think this is episode 4 I believe and today we are upgrading canned mackerel I did struggle a little bit because of some ingredients that I have and don't have i'll explain more of that later but the ingredients that we will be needing are again canned mackerel some potatoes butter mayonnaise optionally you can also use some mustard if you have we didn't have mustard when i was making this as well as some dill and parsley or any herbs that you have the recipe calls for half a lemon, but we also didn't have lemon, so I just used a lemon seed, three of those, some flour, one egg, and dried breadcrumbs, and also salt and pepper to taste, and the oil to fry, canola oil or any oil you have. By the way, this is not a original recipe that I came up with. This is a recipe I saw in one of my cookbooks. It's in front of me right now. And yeah, I just wanted to say that. But let's go and get started on the first step. So first, I am using a kitchen scale because I needed 450 grams of potatoes. I used 444. I'm telling you the weight because potatoes come in different sizes. After peeling the potato skin and dicing it, I boiled up some water and placed in those diced potatoes. Cooked it until it is soft to mash. So while that was cooking, I opened up my canned mackerel and this is where I struggled a little bit because I didn't prepare my ingredients the night before and the canned mackerel that I thought we had is just plain mackerel in brine or something but it turns out that what we have is canned mackerel and tomato sauce so I separated the tomato sauce and mackerel through a strainer I set the tomato sauce aside because I didn't want to waste it. And also, another thing that I wasn't prepared of is that we only had one can of this. So, I decided to mix the dish with some canned tuna. But if you do have two cans of canned mackerel, the tuna is absolutely optional. I placed those two fishes two kinds of fish in a chopping board and flaked them although the tuna is already flaked there are still some chunks big chunks so i still flaked it by the time i flaked the mackerel and tuna the potatoes were done and i started mashing it with both a potato masher and a fork just until there are no more big chunks left. Then I mixed in the flaked fish, 2 tablespoons of melted butter, 2 teaspoons of mayonnaise. And again, if you have mustard, you can add in 1 teaspoon of that. Once I mixed that, I sliced the calamansi. What is the plural of calamansi? Anyways, I sliced those three and juiced it into the mixture. If you have lemon, you can use half of a lemon for this recipe. Again, I just don't have lemon right now. Once that was mixed, I divided the mixture. For me, it was eight 
portions but you can divide it as much as you want and then I took each of those portions and rolled it first and then shaped them into a disc and did that to the rest of the portions next I prepared three bowls and the first bowl is some flour mixed in with salt and pepper I actually made the mistake because I forgot to put salt and pepper in the mixture so if you're watching this or doing this put salt and pepper in the mixture the next bowl is a beaten egg and then on the third bowl is some dried breadcrumbs I didn't really measure how much I used I just went for my gut I covered a disc first with flour and then the egg and then the breadcrumbs so I just repeated that cycle until all the discs were covered the next step is to fry them until golden brown since all the insides are cooked you just have to cook it for a few minutes until it is golden brown once all of the discs are Cook. You can stop here, but again, the canned mackerel that we have is with tomato sauce. Since I didn't want to waste it, I poured it in a pot, a clean pot, and mixed in a little bit more of water and some pepper and garlic powder, and then mixed in a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up. As you can see, I made a mistake because when I mixed in the cornstarch, there were lumps. So I think I would suggest mixing the cornstarch with a little bit of water so you can make a slurry and then pour it in and mix into the tomato sauce. And lastly, this part is optional but I was just in the mood of plating because... I was happy of how these discs turned out. I'm not the best at plating. I've never attempted doing it, but I was just in the mood. But anyways, here's the final result. We have turned canned mackerel and a little bit of canned tuna into fish cakes. So I hope you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up if you did, um, comment below if you would try these and if you do, post it on Instagram and then tag me over here and follow me on Instagram while you're at it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and next to it is a notification bell. Click it so that you can get notifications from me every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Honestly, I feel like that won't last that long, especially that school is starting, but we'll worry about that in the future. Comment below any more processed food or common food that you want me to upgrade. Maybe I can get some ideas, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!